So I've often been asked by other creators and artists out there about how I manage my time and stay on top of all my day-to-day -day tasks, especially between running my own business and having this entire art side hustle and creating content for YouTube and Instagram. So through today's video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Notion and how I use it to manage all of my daily tasks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shivani and I'm an artist and entrepreneur and productivity nurse based in the south of India in a city called Chennai. I've been using Notion since December of 2021 and ever since I started using it I completely fell in love with the entire software. I love how flexible it is, I love how customizable it is and I love how I can build out my dashboards and my systems exactly according to my own needs. So in today's video, I'll just be taking you through my Notion dashboards and I'll show you how I've set them up for myself. Hopefully it will be helpful for you to start managing your tasks better as well. And I'll also be attaching a bunch of resources in the description below uh, in case you want to learn more about how to do this for yourself because I'm not going to be going into the nitty gritties of how I set them up. However, if you do have any specific questions or you want to know about any specific module of my dashboard, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to get back to you. So for now, let's just dive into the setup. Okay, so the first thing that I've built out is my dashboard and I modeled this kind of on um, a creator called Thomas Frank. I'm linking to his channel in the description. He creates a lot of in-depth Notion tutorials. If you're a beginner, uh, I will definitely say that it can be a little overwhelming because uh, some of the stuff he gets into is very technical, but uh, it will give you some idea of the depth of possibilities within Notion. So it completely depends on how deep you want to go with this. Uh, if not, you can look at a lot of other creators, see how they've set it up. It's really simple to get started. So right at the top of my dashboard, I have today's highlight task, which I fill out at the end of a workday or at the beginning of my next workday. And I have a little quote here just for motivation when I need it. And then I have all of my tasks for the day uh, listed out over here. I usually have this list uh, being a lot longer, but I've already finished some of it. And I mainly use Notion for my art studio work and my personal life. I don't use this for my fashion business. So uh, then I have some of my recurring tasks. Then I have my content calendar. So just so you understand, all of these are separate dashboards, which I'll be showing you uh, as in their separate databases, sorry. Um, and these are just pulling up information from that database. So this is something that's called a linked view of a database. So it's from one main database that it pulls up all the information and then you can filter it out based on different uh, requirements. So. I have uh, views here for today, tomorrow and my next seven days. But all of this is basically pulling information from my all tasks database, which is a complete exhaustive list of all my tasks, which I manage on Notion. Now, similarly, the content calendar is another database of its own. I'm just going to click into that and show you that as well. So here I have all of my content planning going on. So I usually sit and plan it out for a month or so, at least roughly. And then I can just kind of move things around if I want to change the date. And I have multiple filters here again. So this is all of my content. This is specific to Instagram. And then I have YouTube shots and email. And even within Instagram, I've created different tags for myself so I can decide whether it's going to be a post, a story, a reel, an IGTV video, and I can just mark that out. So if I want to have three reels per week, I can just make sure I'm not repeating more than that and then fill out the other days with say static posts or carousels or something like that. Now going back to our dashboard, I then have a few quick links over here with work and just personal things. Then I have some uh, a quick to do list. So when I want to just quickly jot something down in a hurry or a quick grocery list because I randomly through the day think of things and I don't have the time to work on it at that moment. So I just throw it in there and then I have all the projects that I'm working on as well. Now on the left here, I have my favorites. So when I'm working on something, I tend to star it 
like this yellow star in the top right corner here. So I star it and then it shows up in my favorites here and because I had a lot of things actually that I wanted quick access to. So I also added quick links here which is a page where I have a few more which I don't want to favorite everything because then this list becomes way too long. So instead of that I just add them as linked pages in this page and if I want to access them I just use the drop down arrow there and that becomes easy so that way I can have a lot more uh, pages that I can access from my favorites without this list getting too cluttered. So these are the YouTube videos that I'm currently working on. This is the one I'm shooting right now in fact. Now I'll also take you through my art studio page. This is my overall art studio page where I have a business plan which I'm not going to go into in this video. Maybe in another video I'll take you through that. I'm also linking in the description to the business plan set up from another artist named Kelsey. I modeled mine largely based on hers so I'll link to that. I think you'll find that useful. Then I have a few business ideas here and then what I wanted to show you also is my inspiration bank. So this is where I throw in ideas for paintings whenever I randomly think of something and I want to just collect that idea somewhere. I throw it in here and then I have a few pages for in-depth references. So when I'm working on much larger detailed pieces, I tend to create a page here for them. So the most important one is this Pichwai painting which I painted it towards the end of last year. I'm attaching an image on the screen here. So as you can see that was a very detailed piece and it is based on traditional Indian art forms. So Pichwai is uh, an art form which is historically very significant so it's important to not get the details wrong in something like that. So I wanted to have enough of references that I could look back on not just when I was painting it but even in the future if I want to create another similar piece at least I have all my references in one place. So within this page and I go into a lot of depth with all this I just like to understand and absorb the style as much as I can before I start creating one of my own. So here I have a little bit about the history, the key elements, the key colors and then I have all of these sub pages which are different elements of Pichwai painting. So there's the sky, the trees, the birds and the Srinathji motif by itself because each artist paints it in a different style but I wanted to understand what are the common features what are the different elements of that motif, like the different aspects of his clothing, the colors that are used so that I'm able to do justice to it. So I created detailed pages for each of those. I'll just show you one of them. So for example, let's look at the birds page. I just looked at a lot of paintings, screenshotted parts of it and just added it in here. Not for me to copy, of course, but for me to just understand the style and then do justice to it in my own painting. In the description below, I'm going to link to my pitch Y page as a downloadable template. So if you guys would find that useful, you can just click that link there and download it for yourself and you'll be able to import it into your Notion dashboards as well. So within my art studio dashboard, I also have a little bit about my branding where I answered some key questions about what I want this business to be, who my audience is. And I just did a lot of brainstorming here, created a mood board for myself. So these are all things that you can do within Notion, you know, if you're not somebody who's going to create things that are very text heavy, it's still a place where you can gather a lot of visual influences and inspirations for you to just collect in one place. I know that there are tools like Pinterest interest out there but what I like about Notion is that I can do a mix of having visuals, having text and then having to-do lists also within the same stuff. So I just find that very useful and very comprehensive. I know that this is not for everybody. Some people just prefer to keep all of that separate and might find this a little overwhelming. But I think that once you get the hang of it, it's just un unparalleled. There is no other software that's going to do all of this in one place. So I'm also going to link to this particular template, uh, which I used for my branding and just adding all these visual influences in one place. Uh, if you find that useful, you can download that. It's going to be free for a limited period of time. Afterwards, I'm going to be developing some paid templates and this would probably be a part of that. For now though, it's completely free. So the link is in the description. Definitely make use of that and download it. 
and a couple more things I want to show you. One is my YouTube dashboard. So this is where I not just gather my ideas, but also just keep track of my YouTube projects. So firstly, I have my idea bank, which is where I throw in all my new ideas. I just sometimes I come across some content piece on the Internet and I think, hey, I could use that idea. I could create my own spin on it. So I throw that in here or just any time any ideas strike, I just prefer to keep it in one place so that I can easily refer back to it. And when I need to plan out my content calendar, I can just look here and I don't need to rack my brains every single time. And then I have a calendar view here specifically for my YouTube videos, which are created as projects within my overall project dashboard. So that's this place. And when I create them within my YouTube calendar, they automatically get tagged as being YouTube content. So it's very easy for me to refer specifically to that in one place. And each of these, so I'll just show you one of my past videos. This was my 10th video about uh, trying out acrylic gouache. Uh, let me just open that full screen and yeah, so like you can see I have all my titles, my thumbnail ideas that I plan out in advance. I of course don't copy these thumbnails but I look for inspiration and then I just make sure that I'm staying on top of all my tasks and planning out my script also that makes sure I shoot everything that I need to shoot otherwise it's very easy to miss out certain things and it's just it's complicated if you don't plan in advance and if you don't have a place which you can refer to while you're shooting then it gets really tough so all of that is here as well and when I want to create a new YouTube project basically what I do is I just hit this new YouTube video um, so it automatically populates here because I've saved all of those details as a template. So all of this just automatically gets populated and then I just fill in the project name and I then start working on it from scratch. And then I also have my uh, task list. So this is my usual task list for any YouTube video and then I just drag it in here. And like I said, this is linked to my all tasks uh, database. So everything is in one place and once I assign dates then it'll show up on my dashboard on the relevant date so if I assign something to today for example so I'm just naming the project YouTube dummy project and I've assigned one task to today just to show you how this works and now when I come to my dashboard it's showed up over here for today's date because I'm in the view for today and it's linked to that particular project within which I created it. So this is what really helps me stay organized with everything. I assign dates to everything and then I just follow what my notion is telling me to do. And if I need to move things around, I can always do that. It's um, nothing to get too stressed about. That's pretty much all of the stuff I wanted to show you. Aside from this, I also have a page for my notes so based I've created various notebooks so sometimes when I come across some interesting articles or videos I throw them in here I might write a few lines about what my takeaways were from it and I also keep track of my book notes here um, again all of these like a lot of these templates which I'm using are credited to either Ali Abdal or Thomas Frank um, I've not created them from scratch myself. So the YouTube template for the projects is Ali Abdal's and the book notes templates are also Ali Abdal's. But it's really useful because once I read a book, I am now making a conscious effort to take notes because what I found was that once I read a book, I am tending to forget a lot of what I read. Just getting into this habit of taking notes or importing my Kindle highlights into my notion just helps me firstly understand the book better by it's like a second revision almost and it also helps me have my notes in one place which I can refer back to at any point of time. So I really like that and I take notes quite in quite a lot of detail. I'm very behind in terms of the number of books I've read and the number of books I've been able to finish my note taking for. But it's something that I'm just trying to build as a habit whenever I get time in the evenings or in the weekends. It doesn't feel like work as such to me. So I just enjoy doing this. I think it's going to help anytime in the future when 
I want to refer back to any of this for videos that I'm creating uh, where I want to say quote something from somewhere then this is just going to be an easy place which I can always refer back to. I hope that wasn't overwhelming though. Uh, I know this is a lot but you can always just start with something extremely basic and just build these things up over time. Like I mentioned in the description I'm leaving two templates which you can download for free and hopefully that will get you started in the right direction. I hope you guys found this useful and interesting and if you have any questions like I said just drop a comment I'll be happy to get back to you. And if you already use Notion, I would love to know how you're using it. And I'm going to be creating a lot of templates in the future specifically for artists and creatives. I think all of us have this uh, romanticized idea of artists leading very messy lives with messy desks and being all over the place. But I don't think that's helpful to anybody. I am very much of the school of thought that being productive no matter what industry or for being just organized and productive helps you get more done in less time and as a result you have less burnout and I think as artists we are not just creating art and a lot of us are doing this on the side as a side hustle so we're not just creating art but we also have to create some kind of content to market ourselves as an artist and we may want to learn things we may want to take up freelance projects so it's a lot of things that you need to juggle around in today's day and age so it's very important to stay organized and I think a tool like Notion uh, really helps with that. So that's all for today and I'm going to be creating more such videos in the future and if you want me to I will even break down some of my templates on Notion and tell you exactly how I set them up. You can let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss those videos when they come out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.